about four years ago, we really leaned into this, uh, uh, this idea of uh, contextual targeting with video. And the problem at that time was a lot of the legacy players that were providing solutions for context contextual solutions were doing it around keyword analysis. And the problem with keyword analysis, specifically with video, is that there's a sparsity of language. So you'll have, you'll have a title, you might have some tags, you might have some comments associated with that video. But it's very, very hard by looking at that language, actually semantic language and keywords, it's very hard to be able to ascertain what a video is about and to see if it's, um, uh, if it's suitable for a brand. And so we set out on that mission to solve that very difficult and challenging problem for brands. And we started about four years ago and we made a massive amount of investment in the product and we worked heavily with agencies and our brand partners to be able to discover a really robust solution and a robust methodology and build a, a, a tech stack around that. Because we're a demand side um, solution, when in talking to the agencies and the brands, we saw that they had a lot of just, their pain was they, they wanted to buy video and where they could get true scale in video was within the walled gardens. Not to say that there's not scale outside of the walled gardens, but they were mostly controlled in private marketplaces. So we focused on we focused on solving this issue in the walled gardens, this idea of is there some content that is more suitable and more helpful for a brand to be associated next to, and what would that look like, and how would that translate into targeting? And so we have focused for the last four years on YouTube specifically and on video for Facebook. Kudos to Google and Facebook, really, in that uh, both of those uh, organizations recognize the need for third parties, um, just to give uh, brands and agencies more flexibility. So clearly each of those platforms offers their own native solutions. And in our case, our solution is a little bit different in that the value that we provide to brands and agencies are that we capture more of their nuances. We have a platform that captures that and uh, translates that into targeting. So that was unique in the sense that every brand who works within our context DMP has a different level of nuance around contextual targeting. And so we recognize that our platform needed to address that demand and that need. Well, first I'd say congratulations to both the platforms because the platforms historically have had some brand safety issues, but both of those platforms have done a tremendous amount of, made a tremendous effort and investment in making sure that their platforms were brand safe. When it comes to suitable targeting and targeting that works and contextual adjacency that works better for your brand than other kinds of content, that is a far more nuanced um, uh, signal. And it's one in which you have to have a lot of information from the brand and, or the agency. And so our focus has been developing a platform that enables uh, the brand or the agency to activate on all those nuances. And so I think it's, it's, it's one of those things that like it's, it, the brands look to us because they recognize that they don't, they see the world and they see content in a very unique and specific way. In fact, every brand that has a lot of brand equity has just different wrinkles in terms of, and a different perspective in terms of how they look at adjacency. And to be able to meet that need of the brand or agency and say, look, we have a platform that can elicit that information from you that can and then can and then can translate that into activation that really is satisfying for you so that you're really adjacent to the right kind of content it's it's not unlike what used to occur all the time in television spend when a big brand or agency went and spent money on television they wouldn't just say put it on this channel at whatever time it doesn't matter to me usually they get very granular in terms of the uh, commercial pod, where it was at, what the show was, what the audience was that watched that show. So that level of granular sort of contextual targeting, if you will, we believe at, at a very high level as audiences went away from watching just traditional television and they were in all these different environments, we believe that brands would still have the desire to be able to have that control 
and transparency over where their ad appeared and, and, and the control to really influence where it appeared and where it didn't appear, but more specifically where it appeared. So next week we're excited about ramp up because um, we know there's gonna be an evolution of discussion in terms of how to best target customers post the Chrome announcement of um, removing third-party cookie syncing. So third-party audience data is clearly um, going to change. And I think the industry is searching for different signals that can help them efficiently target the right kind of customer. And we believe contextual targeting has a major voice to play in that future. And so we're excited about those conversations we'll have.